Hi, Lyndon. Uh, I know I'm a few days late for your 19th birthday, but I decided I wanted to make a nice little video for you. My name is Mouse in the House. I like to make little videos that talk about basically nothing at all. Shots of nature, maybe a couple of shots of ducks. That's been really easy to find around here lately. Simple stuff. I heard from your sister that you're not exactly having a very easy time of things lately. And if you're willing to hear me out for a little while, I'd like to give you a few words. You're welcome to take this as you wish, and you're welcome to just hit the close button on your tab right now and to ignore this. But I would very much appreciate if you were to listen to me for just a little bit. I won't pretend to know how bad things are for you right now, and I won't pretend to know how you can climb yourself out of this, because there have been a lot of times where I feel very much like you do right now, or I find myself in a situation not too different from yours. And to be honest, it's pure chance that pulls me out of this situation. But it doesn't mean I don't know what it's like to feel when your back is against the wall. When I was in high school, um, I was not exactly having a very nice time. Um, my parents were splitting up, my father was emotionally abusive. One day, I made a little thought exercise. I made a list of all of the people who would have had to hear about what had happened to me if I would killed myself. And the list ended up totaling about 64 people, among them family members, classmates, teachers, friends, friends of friends, friends of the family, and other such people. It didn't necessarily make me feel better, but it did help put something into perspective for me. Whenever you do something, people do react to it. It does affect other people. It's a ripple effect. It doesn't really feel like that very often because you don't exactly notice these effects all the time. But these things still happen. People still feel your action. I would very much like to ask you to never let yourself think that you're alone either. There were people who I could turn to for help, and these people did extend a hand to me. Even if they didn't even know it. Even if it was just a matter of me going to visit them at some point and just forget, if just for a moment, the troubles that I had. These people were a big help to me. But the one thing I still would have liked the most at, that, at those times, and the one thing that I wanted the most when I was 16 and I had to make my list of 64 names, was someone to tell me that things were going to be alright. I don't know if this is what you want the most right now, but I would still like to tell you that you are going to be alright. You are not alone. Don't think for a single moment that you've been alone, and don't let anyone tell you that you're alone in this. You have people who are supporting you, who are rooting for you. These people care for you and love you very much. If you won't consider me one of those people who at least cares for you, at the very least, consider me one of those people who just really wants to help and who, at the very least, wants you to have a very good day. I have spent entire days without having spoken to other people. Not because I'm alone, but because there's just no time for me to go outside and say hi to people. I'm a very busy person. Trust me when I say that I understand how much it feels how great it feels when just someone walks up to you and says, hey, good morning. And I know I'm late for your birthday. I said this before, but please, again, happy birthday. Happy 19th birthday. And enjoy it, okay? It was, all, it was earlier in the week, and I missed it by a couple of days, but you shouldn't stop celebrating. If you feel bad, don't hold it in. Cry if you have to get mad at you. I've told this to people before and I stand by that. You should not hold in your emotions. If there's something that's bugging you, get it off your chest. If there's something that makes you want to cry, cry. If there's something that makes you angry, get angry. But you don't have to keep it to yourself and you don't have to feel like you have to keep it to yourself. 
because I'm very sure that your sister, at the very least, is ready and willing to drop everything she has to just to hear you out, even if it's for hours and hours, even if it's just for one moment, she'll do that. You might never meet me in real life. You might never see another one of my videos. I might never make another video again because my camera will break or something like that. But I won't stop caring for you all the time. Now that I know what it is you're going through, or at least the broad strokes of it, I want to know at the very least that you'll be working with us, that you at the very least know that you're not alone in this, and that even if it's a lot of work, even if you have to go through a hundred days of just feeling like crap, you at the very least someday wake up in the morning and feel better about yourself. You're able to walk outside and you're just able to enjoy things. Because that's important too, you know, you should let yourself enjoy things. Sometimes it's hard. Sometimes, no matter how hard you try, no matter how much fun everyone else around you is having, you just can't get that thing out the back of your head. You feel this weight in your chest. Don't run away from those things. Let yourself take part in them. Don't isolate yourself. Don't think you're alone. Don't think you can't turn to anyone for help. I would be very sad, Lyndon, if you were to hurt yourself because then that would mean that everything that the people have done for me in my life, whether it was conscious or not, wouldn't have helped me. And because that would mean then that I wasn't able to help you. I know what that pain inside feels like, at least to some degree. But hurting yourself doesn't make it better. 